What's up YouTube? Jeff back again and today another very exciting Samsung video for you guys. Today we're going to be looking at some leaks that have come out about the latest alpha builds of One UI 6.0. Yes, we know we're going to be getting the One UI 6.0 beta program for the Galaxy S23 series probably here in a month or two in either June or late July. Very excited about that, but there's some, been some interesting stuff that's come out as well as some renderings and concepts that some concept artists have done of those possible features that we might see. Before we do that, I wanna remind you guys about the new partner on the channel, which is Ultra Mobile. Ultra Mobile is a fantastic mobile service value. It's a sister company of Mint Mobile with a particular focus on value for international talk and text, while also delivering some amazing data plans and allotments as well. Uh, you can see here for the one month plan, they have the 15 a month, 19 a month, 29 a month, 39 a month, and the unlimited for 49 a month. Um, all of their plans come with free unlimited nationwide talk text data, free unlimited talk and text to 80 plus international destinations, which is the real selling point here in my opinion, free Wi-Fi calling, free three in one SIM card. So if you live in the US and you have family that are in other countries, like I live here in Arizona, a lot of people wanna call back to Mexico, Ultra can be an amazing value for that. If you're coming to the US to visit, you live abroad, you're coming here for a visit for one or two months, you can get a one month plan so you have a SIM card while you're here. You can still call your friends and family back home, which is absolutely fantastic. You also can get even better value if you get a three, six or 12 month SIM, um, you can get even lower rates per month on all of their plans. Now, the best part about this is if you guys want to sign up today, they're giving my subscribers a special discount code. You can see it right there. It is Springer. So if you go to my link, ultramobile.com slash Springer, use code Springer at checkout, you're gonna get 15% off your first purchase of any of these plans, one month, three months, six months, 12 months, great value. And in addition, if you go to ultramobile.com slash Springer today, also in the pen comment description, I'm gonna send you guys Google Play credit to get the premium wallpapers and icon packs that I use in my videos from One4 Studio, which I know a lot of you guys are interested in those. So do check it out, ultramobile.com slash Springer. Sign up, get in touch with me via email or on Twitter. I am sending out those Google Play credits myself for you guys trying Ultra. And we appreciate Ultra for being partners with the channel. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into it. Today, we're gonna to talk about these One UI 6.0 leaks. Um, they've come courtesy of Twitter as usual, and I bookmarked the tweet that I wanted to talk about. Here's the first one, there's actually a couple, um, but this one came from uh, at turnvots33. I probably messed up the pronunciation, so I apologize. Uh, I'll link his Twitter below. Uh, One UI 6.0, first confirmed UI change in the alpha test build that ends in BWE2. This is for the S23 Ultra. Notification panel icon toggles are now bigger in size. So it says, thanks to this guy who gave him the tip. And uh, he said that Vtrox360, who I've mentioned before, and we're gonna talk about later in this video, should design it to kind of show what it's gonna look like. And of course, um, Vtrox saw this and he did make a design. So here's what the current toggle sizes look like. And here they are getting bigger. So you can see it in the video. That's what they're supposed to look like in terms of the overall size. So I don't know, you can kind of see what they look like um, compared to how big they're gonna be. Let me know if you guys think that's interesting. Obviously it's a small change. It's not like a massive change, but Samsung is at least trying to change the UI some, which they didn't really do much with One UI uh, 5.0, 5.1. So pretty excited to see that. Now, if we go into Vtrox's uh, Twitter, he also posted a couple more interesting things, um, including a couple of concepts of how the always on display could look inside One UI 6. So this one looks very interesting to me. Check out the new animation that he made. If you do your tap or you wake it up, it goes from dark back to showing your wallpaper. A little more like, you know, the ambient display with, with something that's black, kind of like a pixel, but definitely with a different distinct animation that would be specific to Samsung. I would personally love to see this. Um, you can also notice how it hides the clock behind the wallpaper. It has the depth effect, kind of like on iOS. I personally love that particular suggestion for a change. He's got a couple other ones. Uh, this is pretty much confirmed. He didn't really do a full animation of it. He just kind of showed what it would look like as a photo. Um, this is multi-touch. Um, drag and drop. So what that means is if you're dragging a photo or something or you know around your screen or window, you'll also be able to interact with the touch interfaces in other ways. So if you were dragging something, you would also be able to activate other icons or apps on the side. Now, this is actually specifically something that Android 14 is going to support that has been seen in the betas for Android 14, which Google's currently testing on the Pixel. And so we're pretty sure that Samsung is gonna bring this as well 
it would make sense since it's going to be built into the core of Android. A couple more that he has here. Um, this one I'm actually going to make a full tutorial on how to do depth effects on GoodLock. So I'll make one on that fully. But here is the Material U back gesture icon um, with predictive back gestures as well. Now, of course, Google is also implementing this in Android 14. And so that is why we're expecting to see this come to the Galaxy phone. You can kind of see how it's going to work. Um, the Material U button right there for back gestures. That would definitely be a UI change. And then of course the predictive back gestures, which means that it basically does predicts what behavior you would like out of the back key, depending on which applications you're in. So it'd certainly be a UI change, and I think it would probably be one for the better. He also made a new call animation possibility for One UI 6.0 concept. You can see here the new call animation, how it comes down. I think that would be a very small thing that would make it look quite a bit better uh, overall. So I love a lot of his suggestions. He's one of the best follows, I think, for concepts and also leaks as well because he does a little mixture of them. But he really kind of animates a lot of these leaks that come out and then show you what they could like look like when you implement them on the Galaxy S23, S23 Ultra. So for sure, we're gonna get bigger quick toggles. For sure, it looks like we're gonna get a multi touch drag and drop and the predictive back gesture changes. Um, not quite sure yet what else is coming out of One UI 6.0. I've said before, I'd really like to see some tighter good lock integration with the actual One UI 6.0 core operating system. We'll see how that goes in the end. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon. Again, if you need to call internationally back home, friends and family, you're going to be visiting the U.S., you need a SIM card, check out my partners at Ultramobile, ultramobile.com slash Springer. Get 15% off with code Springer at checkout. And also, if you order an Ultra plan, get in touch with me via Twitter or email. I will send you out 100% free Google Play credit to download the icon packs and wallpapers I use in my videos. Appreciate you guys checking it out. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot.